Hey guys, I'm glad to have a chance to talk to you again this week. Now, some information was shared with me about something that I think is an important issue. Here in the United States, we are seeing we are, we are seeing some bad things from the coronavirus, but largely because of the quality of our health care and the hard work of the men and women out there in the industry, we're doing okay. Over 170,000 people have survived the coronavirus. You don't see those happy, you know, memes out there. My heart breaks for the families who have lost family members. It's terrible. But there is more hope than the mainstream media is trying to make you believe. But something came to my attention today, and I want to say that I've, I've looked everywhere for information on this and haven't found anything. But if it's true, it is terrifying, the implications of it. The United States maintains much of its power around the world because of our reputation, because of the way we treat our people and our protectorates. Recently, liberals tried to, tried to slander our country by saying we weren't taking care of the people of Puerto Rico when it turned out that the leadership in Puerto Rico was in fact hoarding the supplies we sent them and preventing them from getting those supplies. Now, I've received information, and like I said, I've done a lot of research online, and I can't find anything solid on this right now. But if this allegation is true, the implications of it are horrifying. My source says that in Guam, the local government is discontinuing dialysis treatment across the country, across the island. That will mean close to 40,000 people will be sentenced to death. People that depend on these centers for kidney and renal treatment for serious ailments, illnesses, and diseases. They're doing this because they don't have the medical infrastructure to handle the rising influx in coronavirus cases in their country. In Guam, people are so backed up and waiting for treatment that they're walking away from testing centers without being tested, thus increasing the possibility of the virus being transmitted. If you look at Guam and its average family size, of five to seven individuals living in a home, if each member of that family talks to one member of another family, going by the average family size, one family can infect 49 people. But they're so overwhelmed already that they don't have testing. This is a U.S. protectorate. We have, we have the Navy right there. We have the Marine Corps right there. We have, a, we have an Air Force base on the island. It is important for our state of international diplomacy and the overall view the world takes of the United States that if this information is true, we get a handle on this and we get a handle on it fast. 40,000 lives. And his, on a side note, if they didn't tell us about these centers being closed down, what would they tell us about those numbers? Would they just randomly include those 40,000 as coronavirus casualties and not tell us what they really died from? Something to think about.
when I say we're all in this together, I mean it. It's, it's a global thing. There's no place where people aren't people. We have to look out for it. We have to think beyond right wing and left wing and just be people. Ask questions, look around, call your congresspersons. See if this is true. And if it is, speak up against it. As always, folks, be decent to each other. We're all in this together. God bless.